Good morning, everybody. It's Adina again. I'm glad to have you back, and I'm glad to see everyone this morning. So I'm back um, to do a part two on Sanaya Dennis. Um, first of all, I wanted to make sure that I came publicly to say her name correctly, um, just because I kept publicly messing it up and it's just because I didn't have the correct pronunciation. Um, I think I heard somebody else pronounce it Sonia and so I thought that was the way it was pronounced even though I felt it was Sanaya. So to set the record straight, her name is Sanaya Dennis and um, I did my first video on her um, Wednesday. And since then, things have been interesting, to say the least. Um, I have received numerous comments and messages, um, both to my email, um, to my YouTube account, and to um, one of the pages that I posted my video on that the um, I posted on the father's page. Um, and after that, um, the feedback that I received was mixed and I wasn't expecting to receive any feedback because I don't really expect for many people to see these videos. Um, but um, I did receive some harassing and threatening um, messages and comments from um, recently created troll pages. And I do believe that they are affiliated um, with law enforcement in some way. Most of these pages um, come from New York. I don't know anyone in New York personally. Um, and about 10 of the friend requests that I've received in the past two days have been from people from New York and they have been from newly created fake pages. Some of them um, with Blue Live Matters, uh, propaganda on there. So that is how I came to the conclusion that they were affiliated with law enforcement. So one would ask, just like one of the negative commenters asked is, um, who's going to see your videos? You only have 47 subscribers. So um, one would stand to question why anyone would be concerned with how many subscribers I have if they were concerned with the amount of visibility that I have in order to spread a certain message and to discourage me from um, spreading the message that I was spreading. And so I wanted to say thank you to everyone who reached out to me with kind and encouraging words and remarks. Um, and not just on behalf of me, but on behalf of Sanaya um, and who have kind of gave me confirmation um, that I was on the right path because sometimes, you know, I don't know about other readers, but I still struggle with second guessing myself. And that's maybe because um, I've always had to do this behind the scenes and low key. And because now that I'm doing this publicly, I'm putting myself out there, as I always say, um, it's an adjustment for me. So I still, you know, struggle with second guessing myself. And I do that because I don't want to bring any kind of harm or hurt to um, anyone's family or friends or loved ones. I do this because I genuinely have an intent to help. And that's it. That's it. Um, I don't have peace unless I do this. And some people can ignore their purpose and their calling and move forward um, and do other things and be content that way. But I can't. I don't. I can't. I can't do it. So that's why I do this, because not doing it makes me depressed. Okay, I live to serve a purpose. And so with that being said, <clears throat> today I am going to use myself as a festival for Sanaya again, um, simply because of a lot of the feedback that I've gotten from my first video. 
um, it makes me want to rebel a little bit from all those negative comments that I got that was saying, you know, you suck. Um, you're hurting her family. They need to not have hope and believe that she's dead. Um, which is why I'm even more convinced that these are police affiliates who are threatening and harassing me um, simply because one of the students that also attend um, Sanaya School reached out to me and I wasn't aware of any updates on the case because after I posted my video, I decided that I was going to step back because I do have my own personal things going on and I'm going through a rough time. So for me, carrying that burden um, beyond posting that video was a lot. So I needed to step back and tend to myself for a while. But then after I started getting those comments, um, I thought this has to be the police and I must have said something right. Then one of the college students that attend Buffalo State reached out and gave me an update about um, a conference that the police held and that they are moving towards trying to close this case and say that Sanaya committed suicide and don't expect to find a body because if she jumped off the fall, she'd be in the rocks and she wouldn't be able to be uncovered. My first video, I told you guys that I saw the police wanting to make this a closed case. Go back to my video because when I went and checked the bottom of the deck, it was it, it looked like this. So I couldn't see the bottom of the deck. And I said, why do the police not want any of this to come out? Why do they want this to be open and shut? Period. Um, so when I found out that they are trying to rule this as a suicide and say, well, everybody just move on. You're never going to find her body. Okay, so I was like, you know what? I'm going to do another reading because there's been an update. And if I did the initial reading, it's only right that I follow up with an update. Well, since there's been an update, um, the police are saying that they believe that she committed suicide because she broke up with a boyfriend. And to be honest, I saw that in my reading and I... I um, thought about telling that to the police, but I hesitated. And I'm glad I did because I wasn't seeing what happened that time. I saw what was going to happen. So I'm going to do another reading. Okay, let me just finish warming up my hands because, oh, and, um, Okay, well, I guess I don't need no Florida water because I already anointed my head, my hands, and my feet, and all of my plexuses and energy centers. So, I took my cleansing bath, and um, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I've already smudged my cards, but I'm going to do it again. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to run it to the frankincense. Um, so I'm just going to mix up my cards um, to clear them out, clear out all the previous energy. Um, so these cards are like glasses for me. Um, I can already see, hear, feel what happened. Most of the time that I pick up the cards and I do the reading, I'm looking for cards to come out. I already know they're going to come out because I already, I already see, see what I see. The cards are glasses. They help me see clearer. But um, most of the time... I already know what cards are going to come out because I already know the storyline. So it'd be nice one day for me to um, exercise my extrasensory muscles to the point where I no longer need 
my glasses anymore. Everybody think card reading is evil, but people can get up and prophesy in church and not think that that's evil and be all wrong. You know, be hit and miss. These help me to see clear what I already see so that I, I have a little bit more precision, a little less hit and miss. So consider this prophesying, but with glasses so that you don't be all over the place and you can fine tune the message that you're receiving from God. Anyways, I felt the need to say that because of my own personal situation that I'm experiencing. One day I'll talk to you guys about it, but not today. Because today, um, I really would just like to channel all my energy into helping other people. Because my personal life right now, I feel... Is helpless, and the only action I can take is no action, is to continue doing what I feel led to do. And if that's what brings me peace, then I'll spend all my days doing it until you know things get better in my personal life. All right, Sanaya, I know you didn't kill yourself, I know you didn't kill yourself, and your friends and your family know that you did not kill yourself and I feel like everybody is growing even more frustrated with the police especially the family because they're thinking like why are they doing this why are they saying this like why are they acting like this they cannot figure out why the police are doing this nobody wants to believe a conspiracy theory because we've been told that those people are crazy you know if you mock somebody enough and convince enough people to think that they're crazy no one will ever listen to them but my idea about conspiracy theorists is while sometimes they can be a little bit out there and extreme the truth is always stranger than fiction and so it's easier to dismiss the person who stands out from the crowd and thinks for themselves. It's easier just to, to dismiss them and write them off because most people are afraid to stand out from the crowd. That's all that is, is projection of fear. Most people don't have the guts to do what they feel is necessary for them. They do what they're told. They believe what they're told to believe. And they turn off their own intuition and dismiss it. You turn off your own connection with God for what some other human being is telling you. So this has nothing to do with Sanaya. Um, it's just something that was on my heart and it came from nowhere. So with that being said, I need to pull up the nice picture so I can look at her. Erie County District Attorney John Flynn. Why do I want to look into you, John? Mm -mm. What's on the bottom? The high priestess. That would be me. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I know why I felt like that message had come out. It had nothing to do with Samaya, but it was a message that needed to come out. All right. So before I, I look into any specifics, I'm just going to Flip a card, see what it says, and see where it goes. Sanaya, baby girl, you did not kill yourself. You didn't kill yourself. You were going to meet up with somebody, but it was not a boyfriend, an ex-boyfriend. 
you're going to meet somebody older, like I said. All right. The hangman is... The hangman is a card about feeling suspended in, in time, not being able to make a move or um, not being able to take an action. All you can do is just sit back and Sit back and try to gain some kind of perspective about the situation. Um, and I feel like this is the father or the family because I see the emperor on the bottom of the deck. And I really feel like the father is just kind of like, what else can I do at this point? Like, what is going on? You want to come down from this tree that you're suspended on. Like, you want to be able to take an action, but like, what do you do at this point when the police are closing the case? And the family is just sitting back like, wait a minute, what the f is going on here? Like, what is really going on? What is going on? That's what I feel in my spirit. What is going on? I feel like now the family, the father, maybe, her loved ones are stepping back and saying, okay, let me look at this situation differently. Because this is an injustice and something ain't right. And it's a burden on the father. What is your name? Because I want to. Forty Cal used to rap with Dipset. That's interesting. I'm just looking for the father's name um, because I want to address, I want to talk to him. Calvin, Calvin Bird. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that this is happening to you because Because this is such a burden on you. And you always pop up in the readings as the most prevalent figure in this case. Uh, and that says a lot. It says a lot to me as someone who is reading you guys' energy and picking up on the energy surrounding this scenario, this situation, it says a lot to me that every time I read this, you pop up upright, always upright, never in reverse. That says a lot about you as a father. And I feel the need to say to have some compassion on yourself. I feel the need to tell you to have compassion on yourself and stop beating yourself up about mistakes that you made in the past regarding Sanaya um, and feeling like you could have been, you could have done more, you could have been more. 
um, because even if you did, she was going to go off to college and these circumstances have nothing to do with you. You're in the upright. You're not in reverse. If you, you've never been in reverse. Since I've been pulling these cards about Sanaya's case, you have never been in reverse. You haven't. Others have. But you haven't. So have a little bit of compassion on yourself. I know it's hard. Yeah, you need to have compassion on yourself. All right. So... Um, I'm a little bit lost right now because I don't know what exactly I want to ask. Okay. All right. Are the police in Buffalo covering up circumstances around Sanaya's case? That's what I want to know. Are the police covering up any circumstances surrounding Sanaya Dennis's case? I feel like that's what everybody wants to know. Um, at least everybody that is personally involved. Because on the outside looking in, we would have no reason to trust, uh, question the police. But somebody, somebody be don't believe the police. Somebody besides me. If it keeps popping up in my head, then it is a thought of more than just me. Um, so let me look into it for all of us who are wondering if the police are covering up any of the circumstances surrounding Sanaya's case. Are the police covering up any of the circumstances surrounding Sanaya's case? Police, 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 what are you hiding? <laughs> um, so <clears throat> this is this is this this car right here. I, I'm excited, I'm excited because. Y'all want to make me feel like I'm crazy. Not y'all, but y'all. And y'all know who I'm talking about. The people who have been harassing me from those fake pages. Blue Lives Matters affiliates. I don't have anything against the police, actually. Um, I don't have a dog in that fight. Um, my desire is for equality and justice for all because I'm a Libra and that's what we want justice and balance and fairness and equality so I ain't out here you know with my signs outside of the police departments you know saying let's all kill the police um I deal with a more bigger picture type of perspective. However, my initial reading on this case that made me decide 
that I didn't trust the campus police was because I got this card. This is an air sign card, okay? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, criminal justice, law, and all of that military, that whole industrial complex, that whole industry falls under the air sign. It falls under Mercury. Um, so police, law, all of, all of this has to do with Mercury. It falls under the rulership of Mercury. Mercury rules the um, Gemini. But if I get this card, I get it in this context because I know that it's law enforcement. And this car in reverse made me think of an abuse or misuse of power. And those are the exact words that I stated in my first video on Sanaya. And those are the exact words that I used when I left my tip um, with the police. I specifically said that I felt like the person that was involved was an officer or someone um, in a city position, state position, a reputable position. I kept feeling law enforcement. So this car is law enforcement. In reverse, this person is, this person is misusing their power. They got secrets. They're not talking about things. Upright, this person is a clear communicator. Um, they speak truth, head over heart. You know, they're going to speak the truth and they're going to be forthright, forthcoming, um, and upright in all of their dealings. But in reverse, the complete opposite. So if my question was, is are the police hiding anything in, real, in regards to Sanaya's case? Yes, they are. And I'm going to clarify it. I'm going to clarify why I pulled that card. Eight of Swords reverse. Coming out of confusion. Coming out, coming out, coming out, coming out, truth coming out. They don't want the truth coming out. They don't want the truth coming out. I keep hearing coming out, which is why I'm repeating it. Coming out, coming out. They're not taking any action on any of the leads or, or any opportunities that they have. They're not taking action. These two pillars. Okay, let me show you this upright. So the two of wands comes after the ace of wands, which means a fresh new start, a fresh new lead, or a fresh new opportunity, a fresh new lead in this case. The two would be, we have leads, we have, you know, information that we can look into and take action on in reverse yes they still have them but they're not taking action on them on purpose on purpose they're hiding things that they're not taking action on remember this card my world card my international sex trafficking card. <laughs> I want, and I ain't making up stuff and I'm not crazy. Y'all see me sitting here flipping these cards and I'm not even looking at them while I, while I shuffle them. I'm looking out of my window. I'm looking at the trees. 
because they relax my mind and they help me see clear. <sighs> Whose wish fulfillment is this? Mine or theirs? <laughs> Hmm. Greed. 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 Hmm. Okay. So the police are definitely um, not taking action on purpose. Um, I know that they said that Sanaya committed suicide. She didn't. Okay, so I don't know why I just clarified that world card. They are trying to hurry up, release this burden, burden, drop this case before anyone finds out. They don't want anyone to learn anything. Upright, this would be a lead, a, a lead in a uh, something solid, a positive lead, a solid lead. Okay, a solid lead. They want to hurry up, drop this burden before anybody finds a solid lead. So if they hurry up, cover it up. Even if somebody comes out with something solid, they want to hurry up and close this so that nobody can find anything solid. Why do I feel like you guys are working overtime trying to cover this up? I feel like y'all are working overtime trying to cover this up. Did y'all make a mistake somewhere? Y'all made a mistake. Y'all made a mistake. Where? Y'all made a mistake. Y'all don't want nobody to find out. Y'all made a mistake. Y'all fucked it up. There is a way that this sex trafficking ring is supposed to work and it's supposed to run smoothly. Nobody was supposed to pay attention to this case. Oh my God, oh my God. Nobody is supposed to find out about this because they don't want people digging into these missing children. Oh my God, this is so big, this is big, this is big, this is big, this is big. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge. They don't want nobody looking into missing children. Oh, they're worried that their secret will be revealed. They're worried. Remember this King of Pentacles, y'all? Remember that King of Pentacles I talked about? There you go again. In my next reading, in the same reading, I told y'all, he pops up in every reading. The devil, again, they don't want nobody to find out about this lucrative we're talking about billions of dollars, a billion dollar industry. We're not talking about, you know, somebody's in trouble. 
somebody's in trouble because this was not supposed to get out that much. And so the police are trying to scramble to close it and cover it up because they fucked up. And they're in trouble because they're not the head of this. This goes deep. This goes deep. Y'all look into his eyes for a minute. Because I want y'all to... Because every time I do this, it's because of this. Look at his eyes. Don't they look like this? This goes deep. Deep. This involves multiple countries, multiple industries, entertainment, music, politics. Maybe this is why I felt the need to talk about conspiracy theorists. Is that what some of y'all are going to start calling me? Because let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck. I used to. But I had to go through a death and rebirth. The old me dies so that the new me could be born. I don't give a fuck about what y'all call me. I don't give a fuck about what y'all think about me. At the end of the day, Sanaya Dennis is a victim of an international sex trafficking ring and the police don't want this to lead to people digging into the bigger picture. We're not seeing the bigger picture. We're not seeing the bigger picture. And the bigger picture is greed. Not just the money of power. And I'm going to share things with you guys. I'm going to teach you guys some things about metaphysics and things behind the veil. Um, how things work energetically before or while they're manifesting physically. It's, it's about money, power, and greed. Not respect. Money, power, respect is what I need in life. Money and power and greed is at the root of this sex trafficking ring and Why do I hear Saudi or Saudi Arabia? Hmm. 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 Are we funneling children to Saudi Arabia? My left hand is tingling. I'm gonna run it through the frankincense and myrrh because it's tingling. My left hand tingles. This is my power hand um, and it's tingling. So when it's tingling, I know I'm on to something. Saudi Arabia. Am I going to need inner strength to continue doing this? Hmm. 
Hmm. You know, and I look at this card, you know what I see? Because I'm sitting here talking about Saudi Arabia. Doesn't this, the woman on the strength card, look like she could be wearing um, traditional custom attire? I don't know what those linen robes that they wear. Please forgive me to any um, anyone watching that is Arabic. I do not know the name of you guys' attire. The turban, yes. But that the white robe, the linen, the white linen that you guys wear with the thing wrapped around the waist. This makes me think of Saudi Arabia. This makes me think Ain't no water in the background. This is all desert land. There's some green there, but in the back there are deserted hills. Not a lot of water. Saudi Arabia is involved. And that is who I believe. Not it's just involved, but I think that this particular ring because I do believe that there are multiple sex trafficking rings. I believe that this one is the Saudi, the Saudi Arabia ring. I believe that we are funneling children, young girls to Saudi Arabia. And um, I've heard about what goes on over there. I've heard about, you know, the yacht parties, you know, during Cannes Film Festival, when most actresses go to Cannes to prostitute themselves to Saudis in order to um, finance their career or the lack thereof. So I know. I know. Um, so this is what the police is covering up. And they don't want anybody to look into all the missing children. Especially the missing children that they failed to solve the case on. This King of Pentacles, though, is it, are you the Saudi or are you the one who facilitates the transaction and does the payoff to people involved in order to have them look the other way like you guys did the mother? Ooh. Oh, shit, shit. Why did I just, after I said, like you did the mother, the empress in fucking reverse. As soon as I said, like you did the mother, I dropped this card. Because I'm looking into him. Okay. Somebody involved with this sex trafficking ring. And mom, I don't know if you knew that this person was giving you money for this. They approached her with the bag upright. And I'm going to tell you something. No, you didn't know. But now you can't say shit because your hands are dirty. You didn't know. He came to you upright. And I was thinking about this last night. Why the first time I pulled the car and it came out next to the mother, just like it did this time, why it was an upright. But every other time that I read this case, it's in reverse. Because you presented yourself as somebody upright. You offered her money, but... It wasn't for what you told her it was for. You offered her money 
for silence. Mom, I want to know if you know. And if I seem like I'm yelling, I'm, I'm just yelling because I'm excited. But I'm not yelling at you because I don't judge anybody involved. I'm doing these readings for Sanaya. And um, I leave out judgment because it's not my place. I'm not the jury. I'm not the judge. I am the reader. But I want to know the police. Oh my God. Did you know? They lied. But there are secrets. I want to know if you knew. Here's this King of Cups in reverse again. The person who she was trying, supposed to meet with. Mom, were you supposed to walk away and not participate in the searches? Is that what you were expected to do? Walk away from this. Y'all, I need a minute. Mom, you knew. Mom, the reason why you are being silent and passive and not searching is because you are holding on to money that you are given. A lot of money. That's why you aren't Moving forward with the search, you aren't communicating, you're not working with the family. You were given financial abundance. If you give up the search, if you don't fight this, Look the other way and don't take any action.
and don't say anything when we say that she died. Don't take any action. The father is working, doing all the work, and he can't see. The father is doing all the work. He said, about them wanting to drop the case when they found that lead in Niagara Falls. He doesn't want to leave his baby girl in Niagara Falls. What is this? You don't want to abandon this. You want to keep moving forward. You want to follow your heart, but you don't have what it takes. Or you feel like you don't have what it takes to find her, but you don't want to abandon this. You thought that the police would help you um, find her and that you guys would be victorious, but your heart is broken. And you're being forced or asked to change your perception of things. I need you to, okay, Dad, Clyde, I need you to stop trying to work with the police. Stop telling them about what you know, about what you find out. Stop trying to make this relationship with the police work. Because if they are all of a sudden working with you, trying to extend themselves to you, making it seem like they are working with you, they are not. What they're doing is watching you and making sure that they can monitor what you find out and what you know. It's like, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. That's what they're doing to you and the family. They're not your friends and they don't care. They're only around you so that they can monitor the information that you guys get. They want to know what you guys know so that you guys can't find out anything. I almost said something, but I don't want you to do that because that could, that could go left. But, you know, I don't know if the mama is ever going to talk. Will Sanaya's mother ever talk? And I almost doubt she will. I doubt she will because she knows how deep this goes. And um, she's afraid. She's paranoid. I saw that in the car. She's paranoid. They're watching her. Because they gave her that money and she can't give it back now. I'm sure they would bury her. If they didn't kill her outright, if she did spoke up, speak up, they would bury her reputation. Even if she didn't have one, she would have one. 
but it wouldn't be a good one. Will the mom ever give up anything? Will she ever give up anything that she knows? No, I don't think so. No. No. She needs to, but she's not, she um, doesn't have the ability or she perceives herself as not having the ability. She's not going to give up anything. She's not going to talk. And she has something, but she's not going to give it up. This is her. This is her having information. This is her not talking. This is her not wanting this information to come out. This is the same card I pulled for the police not wanting anybody to find a solid lead. Mom, how, how much, okay. When did they approach you? Because I, I almost feel like it was months in advance when they approached you. Was it nine months? Or is this just greed? You do want to talk, mom, but the police, but you can't. Whatever you're not saying, you could put these people away. You could get justice. You could get justice because they made a mistake. You're afraid to come forward because of this um,
Oh, man. I just keep seeing the same thing. Them giving you money to not cooperate. You cooperated because you wanted this money. You cooperated with the police. You did. Does the dad have a girlfriend or somebody that's supporting him? I keep seeing this Queen of Wands in here. That could be um, mm -mm. um, I think that's you. Okay, mom. All right. So let me just because it's already been an hour since I've been on here. Let me just summarize my reading because I could be all over the place. The police are lying. Sanaya did not kill herself. Sanaya was trafficked and the mother cooperated by taking money um, in order. She took the money and was told to not help with any searches. Don't start anything. Don't fan the flames, keep your mouth shut. Basically, take this money and fall the fuck back. And the dad is just out here trying to get justice for her, his daughter. And I think he's starting to look at you as, I'm not going to say that because I'm not going to say that. However, I think people are beginning to question you and your maternal instincts. I think that he's starting to think that you should be a little bit more emotionally involved than you are. And I think a few people are taking note of that. And you're paranoid. But the problem is that all you can do is take your bag and fall back because you can't go back to these people and say, here, take this bag. I want to come forward. You'll be dead. Is Sanaya Dennis still alive? Is Sanaya Dennis still alive? Is Sanaya Dennis still alive? I feel like she is. Um, hmm. Be sad. Either way. Either way. Because I know her circumstances are not good. If she is. Is she still alive? She's still alive. I don't know. Let me clarify this. The 
the more I look at this, I'm um I'm not thinking about it in the traditional meaning of the two of cups. I almost see this as a transaction trading. She's still alive and she's being traded. I don't know. She is still alive and she has been or is being traded. She is supposed to go to Saudi Arabia or to a Saudi. So she could or could not be across the border. She may or may not be um in another country, but I believe that whoever has her is a Saudi, a king, mm, a prince. Mm. Somebody very, 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 very wealthy, internationally wealthy. But this Queen of Pentacles is here, not the King. Okay, yeah, Mom, you got you got a bag. You got a bag from this. that either you finna get frustrated or you're already frustrated. Um, seems like you've been trying to hold in or continue to be emotionally strong, but something's gonna happen um, to where you lose it and then start wondering why mom isn't as invested in why she's holding back and if this isn't already happened it will it's like you holding back it's almost like he knows that you're holding back because you don't want
almost, I wonder if dad is going to see this video and that's going to trigger him to change his perspective about things and about why things are being held up the way they are. Because you've been questioning already. You've already been questioning certain things and something's going to happen to make you not be able to hold back your emotions anymore. And what I don't want is for people to lose sight of the goal. And that is finding out what happened to Sanaya and trying to get justice. So even in your anger and in your frustration, try to remember Play chess, Dad. Play chess. So I need you to continue to use your inner strength, hold back your emotions, and strategize. Try not to just come out kicking down doors like, you know, you know what the F happened to my child. Try not to do it like that, but be a little bit more covert. And that requires patience. But a good covert mission is so well worth it when you're patient and meticulous and you have a strategy and a plan and you stay 10 steps ahead of your opponent, you have the ability to catch somebody up in something if you play it right. To try to temper yourself. And I know it's hard. Because you, <laughs> you just want to go rushing in. I know it's hard, but I need you to be a little bit more. I'm going to play chess. Because if you do that, you will be able to slip up on some information. If you don't, do it the rowdy way. If you don't do it the way that you probably would, kick down your doors and smack your bitch. <laughs> I don't know why that just popped in my head. Just to show you mama could not have in it. Okay, just to show you Clyde, he ain't having it. Um, don't do it that way. Keep your Tims on the floor. And keep them on the ground. And keep your ears on the ground. And when you speak to people, try to... So I'm an air sign. And I'm really well with mental... I don't want to call them mental games, mental gymnastics. But I'm a really great strategist. Um, I'm really great at... Hmm. manipulating situations to my good if I if if to my good and just know that my good is always the good the best good for everybody so I'm not around here manipulating people however air signs are sharp with their mind and sharp with their words um and so I will spend as long as it takes to plot out a strategy and to conceive and think of every possible outcome, every possible move that the opponent could make so that I'm always 10 steps ahead of it. And I'm going to also conceive traps and plots, I mean, traps in there for you to slip up and give me an advantage. That's the way I need you to think. And that's the way I need you to handle this. And I need you to be a little bit more strategic when you're dealing with the police. Because if you just go cold turkey on them, try to beat them at their own game. Because what they're doing with you is exactly what you should do with them. Play it cute. Play it by ear. 
play the game and keep your eyes open because they're playing you to see or so that they can control all of the variables in this situation. All of you guys are just variables in this science project to be controlled. Hence the fake love and the fake support. Beat them at their own game. And if you need help, reach out to me because I can help. If, if nothing else, I can give you a good strategy. Put in the work. Is Sanaya still in New York? 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 Is Sanaya still in the state of New York? No. Has Sanaya been trafficked across our borders? <laughs> Look, y'all. This came out. By international sex traffic ring, Sanaya is no longer in the United States, unfortunately. And I feel like she's in Saudi Arabia or on her way there. Please don't nobody else come to me talking about how stupid I am because the borders are closed. You think that international sex traffickers are just walking through the borders? with kids showing their passports and stuff. That's how I know y'all the police because you're not that smart. You tell on yourself. I'm sorry, something's in my eye. Um, the other day I was choking, something was in my throat so I wasn't supposed to say what I was saying. Today I'm not supposed to see what I'm seeing. But like I said, you can't keep a real nigga down and that's for my ancestors. Um, law enforcement, you are Law enforcement that are involved in this case did you hire the person who lured her away? Anyways, this case is about money. This case is about international sex trafficking and the advice was the eight of pentacles. The advice for dad was the eight of pentacles, or I think the advice general was to do the work, but I was talking to the father at the moment when I pulled that card, put in the work. I can't say whether or whether not you will uncover your daughter because she is already across the border. And I know maybe that's why I saw your heart breaking and you losing it. If you see this video, then that's why. But 
all cards aside, because I'm not going to pull anything else for right now, except for my Moonology deck as a, um, a message to wrap it up. But I want to talk to you again, Clyde, um, because you always show up in my readings as the parent that is out here trying to find a daughter. And we see why now. Um, I don't know. I'm just a reader. And energies change all the time. Somebody can see this video and decide to change an outcome. Um, for instance, somebody could see this video and say, okay, this is too much. We need to let her go. And then she comes up found, you know, somewhere. I don't know if you will ever find Sanaya because I stand by what I say. She's not in the, she's not in the States anymore and she's not dead. <coughs> she she's being traded or she's about to be traded. Um but when I say put in the work and don't give up, it's for the bigger picture because It's time for this to end. And I kept saying that the, somebody fucked up within that ring. And I think it's because for a moment while Trump was in office, that stopped. I think it had something to do with pre, uh, President Trump. Um, I actually... Something about the previous administration held up the business. And now, the, with the current administration, it allowed for the business to open up. But it's just like with COVID and with all these other variables involved, getting things running back up smoothly didn't go as planned and some mistakes were made because I don't think Sanaya was supposed to be this visible. Something, something happened that a mistake was made and which is why I'm saying don't give up. Be covert and strategic in the way you move because you might be able to slip up on something that can shed light on this and maybe you won't get Maybe you will, or maybe you won't get your daughter back, but you still give her justice if you find out or if you shed light on what happened to her, what happened to other girls. This is an opportunity for us to save lives and not just a life, but lives. If more people are cognizant of this activity, And now I'm going to pull a Moonology Oracle card. One just fell out. Conclusions are within reach. I cannot make this up. The full moon eclipse. This is when this happened. During the full moon in Scorpio. It was a super moon, a pink moon. I have to look up and see when the next full moon eclipse is. Because that may be when a conclusion is reached. But I know for a fact that during this past full moon cycle, energetically a conclusion was reached that certain things had to die in order for certain things to be reborn. And I believe that this case is going to help expose and put an end to something 
that needed to die. I said in my last video, when I pulled the Oracle card, it was time for healing. It's time for this. It is time for this to die for good because it did die. It did die for a while during the past administration. And then when, with the exchange, the new exchange of power, I believe this president is a play, uh, a, a placeholder. Um, and he's not running the show. He's not calling the shots. I want to pull another, another monology card before I go. Have faith in your dreams. And emotions are running high. Calm down, Dad. I'm telling you to calm down because what you don't want to do is spaz out, end up in jail. Because I'm telling you, if you end up in jail and you are the only parent that is actively pursuing this, they're going to put you away for a long, long time. Whether it's justifiable or not, they will put you away or you'll end up dead because you are a problem. You are a problem. I don't think they anticipated on you. And I think that's the mistake. You. They went to the mom. They weren't banking on you actually being a father. And doing what you could for your daughter. They weren't banking on that. So if you slip up because your emotions are high and you get yourself in a situation, who else is going to be out here fighting for your daughter like you? Have faith in your dreams. Have faith that you will get justice in any way, shape, or form. I'm not telling you to believe. I'm not telling you that you should have faith that you will bring your daughter home. I'm telling you to have faith because faith is what changes things. I said before, people on the other side are always involved in our affairs on this side and we work together. If you have faith that raises your vibration to a level that certain spirits and energies acknowledge and they can utilize that to move on your behalf, Faith increases your vibration and allows for things to move energetically. But faith without works is dead. So continue to do the work and continue to have faith because conclusions are within reach. And that's what I have.